Hey, here I am at Chinatown. Well, what am I doing in Chinatown? I'm here to see a client. And at the same time, you know, I just want to show you this place. And uh, as a tourist, if you come to Singapore, definitely Chinatown is one of the places that you want to visit because you want to take in the culture, you want to take in the food, and you also want to check out some of the souvenirs. Well, I would also want to share with you this one thing about Chinese custom and particularly in my family. I do not know about other family, I can't speak for them, but particularly my family. And so this has contributed to a level of uh, self-limiting beliefs and I'd like to share it with you. Now, when I was young, uh, whenever my parent or specifically my mom, whenever she meet a relative or she meet a friend and I'm with her, sometimes the friend would pass a compliment on me. And what she would do is she would, she would deflect that as she would say, no, he's not good, no, he's not smart, no, he's not this and he's not that, right? And, and when I was young, I didn't quite understood it, but as I was older and I see her doing the same thing to my child, to her grandson, I was perplexed. And so when I confronted her and when I asked her, why did she do something like that? Why would you speak negatively of your child and of your grandchild. And her response was that, look, you know, in our, tra uh, our tradition, our custom, we, we need to be humble, right? We need to be humble. So if people praise us, we will say, no, no, we are not, we're not good, right? And, and, and the other thing is, you know, we believe in luck that if we say that, yes, we are good, uh, then that might bring about bad luck. The, the negative and the opposite might occur. And when I look at that, I kind of shake my head in disbelief because it is just, to me, it's just illogical right now when I look at it. But little did I know that those, those negative self-thoughts have actually been programmed in my mind and has resulted in some level of self-limiting belief and so when I attended this, uh, this briefing by Sandra last night, and when she mentioned about that, the, the thing kind of connected, and it kind of reminded me of what my mom used to say about me, and, and, and how I could kind of break away from that self-limiting belief. So what about you? Are there certain you know, family tradition or customs in your culture that has contributed to a set of limiting belief and worse still, a constraint that affects you at a subconscious level that you didn't even know about it. Share with me.